We're filling up Cousin Patrick, Evanston Wild, contemplating doing the fucking iron ass challenge. Should have started this video probably in the, where the fuck we start? Rock Springs? But, uh, eh, whatever. I was uncaffeinated. It was fucking early. Still <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know, man. It's uh, 920 miles to home in Santa Rosa. So, we make it like a little bit longer. It's 1,000 miles. We'll see. I don't know. Alright, 31,958. Where the fuck am I? I'm in like Lake Point, Utah or some bullshit like that. It's fucking hot. I just dropped like 2,000 feet through the pass. And uh, yeah, it is fucking toasty. So, we're dropping layers. Uh, when I ride, I use uh, this badass Columbia jacket with the Omni Heat, man. Little micro dots keep you toasty as fuck when you're in the mountains, man. But when you are not in the mountains, it is fucking hot. So, we are now in the high desert. I'm about to bust across Nevada, so we need to drop a layer. I like and wear these with the Joe Rocket Phoenix 2 jacket. It's uh, all like Kevlar, has like armor in it and shit, butt padding, and it is super nice for the hot, hot desert. We lost Cousin Patrick. He is uh, a Utah resident now, so he left me all alone, all by myself. Whatever, you will slow me down. I didn't need him anyways, motherfucker. Just kidding. Love you, Pat. Good riding with you. Thanks for rolling the Sturges with me. We're gonna get some fucking water and uh, fucking hydrate, soldier on. So we stopped at the salt flats. Crazy, crazy craziness. Weird, wild place. This is where they do the speed trials every year. Thought about uh, maybe seeing how fast the bike could go, but eh, probably not a good idea. All right, West Wendover. All right, West Wendover, Nevada. 32,000, 61 miles. We made it across the salt flats. It was salty and it was flat. Salt flats are cool for like 20 miles and then it's just a long fucking straight line of white. But, you know, we bopped down and got to see him. Uh, we're in Nevada now. I fucking hate this state. Uh, it's hot and it's full of sin. So, I mean, uh, there's, there's that. But, uh, you know, if you don't like gambling, I don't know if there's another fucking reason to be in Nevada. But, anywho, we're gonna... The nice thing about the state is you get to ride across it as fast as fucking possible. We took a little damage vehicle. Looks like uh, we might have smacked a bug a little too hard. Lights flashing, moving around, but that's right. We got some duct tape, we got some baling wire, we got some zip ties, and a fucking can-do attitude. And with those four things, there is very little in this world that you cannot accomplish. All right, we got that bad boy zip tied on there. I like zip ties. It's like space stage, uh, you know, baling wire. Don't look pretty, but she's on there. Where you going? You ain't going fucking nowhere. 32,172. We're in Elko, Nevada. It is hot as fuck. It's like 94 degrees out. I don't know if my ass is iron right now, but it is definitely fucking swampy. Swampy, swampy, swampy. Yeah, we need some Gatorades. Do some hydration. 32,301. Winnemucca, motherfucker. Shit. We are 550 miles into the journey, folks. Halfway fucking there. I don't know if my ass is iron yet, uh, but it's definitely feeling like some kind of liquid wet metal, like mercury perhaps. It's still a little, a little swampy down there. Might be some gators and 
water moccasins and shit swimming around in my drawers, but you know, such is life. Get some water, rehydrate, move the fuck on. 32,376 miles in Lovelock, Nevada, keeping that shit locked down. I'm definitely starting to feel it, that is for sure, man. Uh, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Keep pushing, definitely got a little bit more in me. You know, we're gonna try and make it to at least Reno. I would love to get the fuck out of this state. <laughs> you know, at least go back to the home soil of California and eat before this day is done. We'll see, keep it posted. So I haven't eaten any actual like food food yet. And I still don't know if I am. We got ourselves a lovely uh, stuffed pizza wedge or something from some uh, high quality Chevron food. So uh, hopefully this gives us the energy we need to fucking move on. Getting fucking rained on. You fucking jinxed me, Pat. You fucking jinxed me, man. Oh man, we're gonna make this Sturgis for one year without getting rained on. Well, you made it, you Utah living motherfucker. I did not. That's outside of Fernley, Nevada. Getting fucking on. It's not too bad. Pulled over gonna throw on the rain gear but I think I'm pretty much out of it now fuck I almost made it to Sturgis and back without getting rained on motherfucker 32 472 Whew, shit we're in lovely uh Reno Nevada one of my all-time fucking favorite places in the world fucking cannot stand Reno I cannot tell you how much of my life I have fucking wasted in this city uh, we had some fun times just outside of Finley. There was a massive fucking cross breeze that tried to blow me off the road on multiple fucking occasions. And then I got rained on. I think because Patrick jinxed me and said that we were going to make it to Sturgis and back without getting rained on. Well, you might have my Utah loving friend, but I did not. So fuck you. It wasn't bad by the time I got out of it. Like I was dry like three minutes later because it's still hot as fuck in Nevada. <sighs> Pushing on. I'm somewhere around like, I think 700 miles. Uh, this is the farthest I've ever ridden in a day so far. So, you know, at least I did that. And honestly, uh, I'm gonna push up over the Sierras before it gets fucking dark out. Cause I feel like if I don't make it up over the mountains until if it's dark and I'm going over the mountains, I don't fucking think I stand a chance. If I get out of the mountains, I think I'll, I think I got a good shot. Anywho, I'm gonna get some more water. I think I'm still good with from that delicious, delicious uh, pizza fried, whatever the fuck thing I ate. Anywho, soldiering on, soldiering on, iron ass till the end. 32,612, Sacramento, California. The night has fallen upon us. <sighs> Here's where shit gets weird. So, according to Google, I need to go down to Manteca and then cut across and then back up to Santa Rosa to hit a uh, thousand miles. According to my odometer, I only need to ride a hundred more miles. Um, but the Iron Ass Society's website says that uh, your odometer can be off uh, by a slight amount. And uh, apparently mine is, especially common with metric bikes. So we're gonna ride south to Manteca and then we're gonna cut across on the 99 and we're gonna cut across to the 580 and go the fuck home. Peace. All right, party people, we are in Manteca, California. Uh, stop for gas, not necessarily because we need it, but because we need to prove uh, to the Iron Butt Association that we actually went the route that we said that we did. So more getting gas here just to prove that I was here. So I'm um, gonna kind of show you what I've been doing along this whole trip. Um, Basically, every time you stop and get gas, you get a receipt and you take a picture next to your side. I've been getting, you know, a receipt and then putting it next to the odometer, taking in a picture. Um, then the other thing you have to do is fill out uh, this lovely mileage log, which has like kind of the route that you've been going, where you've been doing, the date that you did it, um, and then it has all your stops, the date, what time it is on the watch and then uh, what time zone as you can see we magically uh you know traveled back in time and then your odometer readings 
uh, the GPS locations from your stop. Oh, fuck, I still need to figure out where the fuck that one was. Um, how I've been getting this is if you use Google Maps, you can just drop a pin, um, and it will give you the GPS coordinates where you're at, and then just a location description. So uh, these are all been gas fucking stations, you know, in various towns, as you can see. It's this in Rock Springs, Wyoming is where we started, and Manteca, California. So... We're 127 miles away from our destination, Santa Rosa. I'm fucking tired, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, definitely starting to fade it. My ass is surprisingly not that bad. My knees is what I was worried about the most. Um, it's actually been like more than six hours since I had some ibuprofen, so I'm gonna pop that shit. Um, and I'm gonna go dip in this lovely AM, PM, and get some fucking uh, caffeination. And we're gonna knock this shit the fuck out. All right, baby, 127 more miles. Get me home, girl. Get me home. Holy fucking shit. Fuck you, Shell Gas Station. Fuck you. I'm at the Shell in Santa Rosa, California. I fucking filled up my bike. 32,794 fucking miles. This is the last receipt that I need to fucking complete this challenge and this shit ass fucking shell station is out of fucking receipt paper oh my fucking god oh. I gotta find another gas station or get an ATM receipt or something God, I'm exhausted. I'm fucking cold. And I gotta deal with this bullshit. Fuck you, Shell. Fuck you in your ass. All right. 32,796. We are at a Chevron. Two miles away. I got eight cents worth of gas. Hell yes, I want a receipt. You better fucking give me one. Oh. There it is. Santa Rosa, California, 104 AM, 32,796. I have an iron fucking ass. Iron! Forged in fucking battle. Now I just need to. Make it a mile fucking to my house. Holy fucking shit. Fuck you, Shell. Holy fucking shit. I fucking made it. My helmet's stuck on. I can't even get it off. Oh, fuck me. Thank you, baby. I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking sore. Hate the Shell Corporation even more so than I already did. But I a fucking iron ass forged in the heat of Wyoming, Utah, fucking Nevada, and and the where it was born and bred and raised, California. I don't know how many miles I actually rode. But uh odometer says 
Google says it's 100 or 1,005 miles from Rock Springs, Wyoming to my to Santa Rosa. So we did it. Iron fucking ass. For life. For life, son. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I am fucking exhausted, tired. But before I can go run into my house in good conscience and go the fuck to bed, I just spent... Just drove across like hell of states. Went to what was the largest sleeper spreader fucking event last year. Wore a mask the whole time, but, you know, a lot of... I was pretty much the only one. So, we got ourselves a rapid COVID test here. <sighs> so, gonna do a little uh, nasal swabbing and shit. And see if we brought anything back with us. Go in there. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Get, get, get in there. Get the drill foil. Oh, that's my fucking side, is it? Ugh. Good God. All right. So now we leave that bitch in there for one minute. All right. Well, it's been a minute. Pull this bad boy out. Rub it off to the side. And we take this little guy right here. Stick him in face down. We'll wait 10 minutes. This is fucking nerve wracking. It's like uh, your first like HIV or herp herpes test, man. It's like you keep thinking about every like nasty fucking person you came across. And like, oh, they, they were clean, but you know, I, 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 but, 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 you know, I used protection. <laughs> uh. Three, two, one, boom. All right, let's see if I'm pregnant. Ho, 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 Nelly. Well, it's not a definitive definitive. I could just not have enough viral load to show up on a rapid test, but it's a very good sign, and it means that I can at least fairly reasonably go into my house and not have to worry too much about infecting like everyone that I fucking love with random mass just fucking viruses. I'm going to take a shower, wipe the fucking road off me, and then go the fuck to bed. Put this iron ass to fucking bed.